Hi guys, my name is Raz with AutoDS and today we're going to show you how to perform bulk change on your active listings. Now bulk change is an extremely useful function as it will allow you to change one or more of your items in bulk, saving you a lot of time as you don't need to do each action manually for each item. So how do we do this? Well, firstly, please go to the left side menu bar and click on your active listings tab. This will take you to this page here where you can see all of the items that are currently being monitored by AutoDS. Next, I'll need to select the items that I want to change. I will select the entire page showing me the first 10 items of my active listings. And I'll click on bulk change. Here we can set the changes that we want for the items that we selected. AutoDS can help us change the break-even, profit, quantity, and basically everything else for our items in bulk. So let's have a closer look together. Replace break-even will allow you to completely replace the existing break-even setting for all the items we selected. Whatever we put in here will be the new break-even for these items. We can do the same with additional profit. Replace additional percentage profit. Here we can set a new quantity for the items and here we can set a completely new final price for all selected listings. And here we have change current profit up or down by a set amount. Now this feature is useful in case you don't want to completely replace your existing setting, you just want to raise or lower it. So you can do this for break even or for additional profit. For example, I can choose to add 2% of profit or $1 to all of these selected items on top of their existing settings. If we scroll down a little bit more, you can see we have changed the listing to a private listing and eBay whenever it's possible. Change the template. Change or remove tag for all selected items. Change business policies and item location. Over here we have our disable and enable features for the different monitors. So we can disable or enable stock monitoring. We can disable or enable auto orders. Disable or enable price monitoring. And finally disable or enable allow marketplace for the monitoring of non-prime items. If you look here you'll see we have a tab that says apply to all listings. This checkbox is very important. If we click this our change will be made on all active listings in our store. Of course this is important as all bulk changes are sent as a request to eBay and so cannot be undone. Do not check this box unless you want all of your items to be affected by this bulk change. At the bottom of the page we can end the listings in eBay and in the monitor and we can remove them from monitoring but leave them in eBay, in which case they will go to your untrack tab. So now that we understand all of the different features and what they do, let's make our first bulk change. So in this case I'm going to be changing quantity to 2 for all selected items. Whenever we're ready we just click on save changes. The system will then prompt us for confirmation. Please make sure the number of listings selected matches the actual number you want to change and also bear in mind that these requests are sent directly to eBay as we said and so cannot be cancelled. You'll need to just make a new bulk change if you want to change the settings again and this could take up to 60 minutes to complete. Whenever we're ready we just click on change details. And that's it, our bulk change is now done. To check on the status of our bulk change, we'll go over again to the bulk change tab. And on the top of the screen, we'll click on all bulk changed items. Here on this page right here, we can check the status of our bulk change. We have the date of the change, number of items to be altered we can see successful changes, fail to update, the type of action we're doing, and of course the status. Right now we've just made this change, so we're still waiting on eBay. 
To see further details, you can click on Bulk Change Details. We can see that we changed the quantity to 2 for all selected items. If we want to see the actual items, we'll need to click here on Item Details. And we can see all the items we set for our bulk change. I hope you have enjoyed this quick overview of bulk change in AutoDS. Thank you so much for watching.